If you've been battling with your AirPods emitting a high-pitched noise, you're not alone. And today, I'll be walking you through 7 potential fixes to get your AirPods sounding crystal clear again. So, before you even think of getting a replacement, let's see if we can troubleshoot this together. First off, let's understand why this is happening. It could be due to a feedback loop from the active noise cancellation when there's a poor ear seal, or possibly interference from other Bluetooth devices. So, make sure your AirPods are properly seated in your ears, especially if you're using AirPods Pro or Max. Regular AirPods don't have an ear seal or noise cancellation, so it doesn't apply to them. If the seal is off, your active noise cancellation might go into overdrive and cause that annoying noise. You may also need to switch up those ear tips or consider getting custom molded ones for the best fit. Now, if fixing your ear seal doesn't help, try turning off noise cancellation and transparency mode. This might just be the quick fix you need to get rid of that high pitch noise. You can do this right from your iOS device's Bluetooth settings or use the shortcut on your AirPods Pro by pressing and holding the force sensor or by pressing the button on your AirPods Max. The next potential fix is to disable automatic ear detection. This feature is pretty cool, but glitches can cause high pitched noises. To turn it off, go to your Bluetooth settings, tap the eye next to your AirPods and toggle off automatic ear detection. If you're up for something a little bit more technical, let's reset those AirPods. Just put them in their case, press and hold the setup button for 15 seconds and then reconnect them to your device. If you have an AirPods Max, press and hold the noise control button and the digital crown for 15 seconds till the LED flashes amber, then white. Next, we want to check other Bluetooth connections. Make sure there aren't any other devices interfering with your connection. Sometimes, just simplifying your Bluetooth environment can make a world of difference. And finally, if all else fails, it's time to get help from Apple support, since you may be eligible for a warranty repair or replacement, depending on when you bought your AirPods and what exactly has gone wrong with them. Give these fixes a try and drop a comment below to let me know how it went or if you found some other way to fix the issue. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell for more tech tips. See you next time.